Genshin Impact is a fun, open-world RPG with a ton of content. Wow! <clears throat> the game launched late 2020 and made over $245 million in its first month with new whales being spawned every day. As successful as the game is, here are six things that would undoubtedly make it better. Have you ever leveled up a weapon or a character that you wish you hadn't? Well, what if there was a premium item that you could buy in the store that would allow you to reset them? Potentially getting back all the resources that you spent. Amber's only worth is to light those pesky torches that Goba can't reach. So I wouldn't mind resetting her and getting back all my Amora and Hero's wit. The big question is, would MiHoYo make more money with this premium item? Or would it be better to allow players to continue making mistakes and swiping their cards in frustration? So you finally found yourself a good party to tackle that difficult domain with. But now you're out of condensed racing and have to return to town. What's more, you can't interact with NPCs while you're in co-op mode, so you'll have to head back to your own world, potentially losing that party forever. Doesn't that just grind your gears? It makes absolutely no sense that you can only craft three condensed racing at a time. I guess MiHoYo finally heard our relentless squealing because the cap will apparently be removed in the 1.4 update. So now that the racing cap has been removed, you just farm 10 runs in the domain and you feel like a champ. Now you're curious whether you have enough talent books to max out Hu Tao's Q. You don't want to open your backpack and do the math yourself. And your internet sucks, so it would take a million years to teleport back to town. Wouldn't it be great if you could craft a portable alchemy pedestal? It's already possible to craft a waypoint teleporter and a cooking stove, so an alchemy pedestal may not be too far off. If you're like me, then you're probably broke and sitting on a few 5-star weapons that you don't quite need. And you probably even pulled on the rigged weapons banner and got the primordial cutter instead of the primordial jade. What if there was a trading system in the game that allowed players to exchange weapons, artifacts, and other resources for Mora? Suddenly, I would need to waste hours of my fleeting lifespan to farm millions of Sunsetia to cook hash browns. I could just buy it off someone else. And despite the limited availability of weapon banners, players would still be able to acquire what they need long after the banner is gone. Fact of the matter is, once the battle pass is maxed out at level 50, you have to wait 20 plus days until it refreshes. I personally depend heavily on it for my source of heroes, wit, and mora. Whatever the case, you still have to ask yourself whether Nihoyo would make more or less profit from a trading system. Genshin Impact may be a video game, a source of fun and entertainment for us, but for others, it's what puts the food on the table. Did you go nuts slaughtering the Fatui agent to get the ascension item for Zhao? And I bet you used the Favonius handy dandy notebook to find him, right? Well, sorry to break it to you, buddy. Remember when the book stated you had killed them all? Well, you didn't. I used an online map to find three more spots where the Fatui agent spawns. And it's the same with the Geo Vishap as well. Definitely something MiHoYo needs to look into. But anyway, what would be convenient is whenever you search for an enemy, all their spawn locations are displayed on the map at once. At Endgame, we down monsters very quickly, so it's pretty tedious having to open up the handbook again and scrolling down to the respective target every time. At Endgame, everything becomes significantly harder. The monsters are on steroids, domains have strict conditions, and even the floor in the spiral abyss tries to kill you. It only goes without saying that you have to build your characters and lodos with extreme care. But what happens when you want the 5th constellation but the 4th one converts your physical damage into pyro damage? That could potentially compromise the synergy between your characters. Every ordeal in the game is situational. So under some circumstances, it wouldn't be bad to have your physical DPS converted into an elemental one. But what would truly be convenient is if you had the ability to toggle on and off constellations. This is becoming an increasing issue as of late, so I can see MiHoYo addressing the matter in the near future. Have you gotten tired of your Sealy? Well, its adorableness was bound to wear thin anyway. Personally, I think the idea of implementing pets or familiars in the game was a great idea, but we definitely need some diversity. And why stop there? It would be great if a pet or familiar could help you pick up loot from defeated monsters, or even help you to forage for plants and berries in the wild. Because who are we trying to kid? 
This game demands a ton of farming and sending out a few characters on expeditions definitely isn't cutting it. Mihoyo, give us smarter pets. To quickly summarize, while Genshin Impact is a great game, it could be potentially better with a few new features. A premium item used to reset your weapons and or characters, getting back all your resources. Being able to craft more racing would definitely add to how quickly and efficiently we can farm, especially on Sundays. A lot of people play the game on their phone, especially away from home. I would imagine teleporting isn't their favorite part of the game. With that in mind, it would be great if we had a portable alchemy pedestal so that we can work some magic right outside the domain. A trading system would do well to balance out the unpredictability of the game, adding new avenues for getting much needed resources. Marking all the locations at once for a target monster would definitely speed things up a bit, and covering all the spawn locations would maybe deter players from depending on third party information. A good team composition is imperative for endgame, but being able to toggle on and off undesirable constellation effects would definitely make things a lot easier. Finally, while the Sealy is a welcome addition to the game, it would be great if it had more functionality. Helping us to farm would definitely be a great start. If you think there are other features that would potentially make the game better, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and be sure to consider subscribing with the notification bell on for future videos. This is Devon, you have been watching The Feels, and I will catch you on the next one. Later.